In this video, we'll be covering an example on how we price interest rate swaps. So let's say you're asked to price a two-year LIBOR interest rate swap with semi-annual resets and it's based on a 30 over 360 day count and you're given the LIBOR for 180 days, 360, 540 and 720 days. Now, then you're required to calculate the fixed rate of the swap. So when you're asked to price a swap, it means that you're asked to calculate the fixed swap rate of the swap. And when we are you and when you are given LIBOR in the exam, okay, you will have to use simple interest to calculate the present value factor. So let's go through the solution. So in this case, first you have to calculate the present value factor for each LIBOR. For example, for the 180-day LIBOR with an interest rate of 1%, so the present value of this factor, assuming a $1 payoff, so we'll take $1 divide by 1 plus 1% multiply by 180 days over 360. So to calculate in the financial calculator, we'll, take, we'll calculate the denominator first. So that's 1 plus 0 0.01 over 2, or we can multiply by 180 over 360. So that's 1.005, and then we will invert it by pressing 1 over x. So that gives us 0 0.9950. So I can save this in button 1. So I'll record this, this is 0 0.9950. So that's 0 0.9950. And then for the next present value factor, that's 360 days. So that's 1 over 1 plus 0 0.015 times 360 over 360. So let's calculate that. So this will be 1 plus 0 0.015. Okay, which is multiplied by 1. That's 360 over 360. And then so that's 1.015. And then we invert it. So that's 0 0.9852. We save it, store 2. So that's 0 0.9852 and then we continue on with PV for 540 days so that's 1 over 1 plus 2 percent multiply by 540 over 360 so that will be equals to 1 plus 0 0.02 multiply by 540 over 360 and then we invert it so we get 0 0.9709 so let's start it for the number 3. Then lastly, we have the PV for 720 days. So that's 1 over 1 plus 0 0.025 times 720 over 360. Right, let's calculate. So that's 1 plus 0 0.025 times 720 over 360. That's 2 times. That's 1.05, we invert it, so that's 0 0.9524, we'll store that under number 4. Alright, now what we need to do is, now we need to sum up all these present value factors. So the total PV will be based on the sum, so remember we have saved up everything, right? So you can use recall 1 plus recall 2 plus recall 3 plus recall 4. So that will be equals to 3.9035. 3.9035 so we get the total so to get the fixed swap rate okay the it's very easy to remember just take the assume the notional is 1 okay so just take 1 then we minus the last PV which is 0 0.9524 and then we divide by the total PV which is 3.9035 okay so this will give us our fixed swap rate So in that case, uh, I'll save this as number 5, okay, for the total sum. So our formula will be uh, 1 minus recall 4, which is the last PV factor. And then we divide by recall 5, so that's 0 0.0122. So in this case, this is 0 0.0122, okay, or we can say it's 1.22%. But take note, this is for per semi-annual period because uh, we are basing this on a 180-day LIBOR, which is uh, for every half a year. So in the exam, you have to analyze it. So we'll multiply it by 2. So I multiply by 2, so this would be 2.44% per annum. 
right so that's uh that's very straightforward to remember just take one minus the last pv factor and then we divide by the sum of the pv present value factors and if in the exam this is based on let's say quarterly if this is based on for example 90 180 270 and 360 in this case when you calculate the answer it will be per quarter so take note that the frequency uh, frequency here will be based on the number of uh, days in maturity given if this is based on one years two years three years and four years then the swap rate here will already be per annum so hope you learned uh,